Welcome back, folks. This is the final Jeopardy for the championship. The wagers have been made in secret. Players, in a moment, I'm going to give you the final Jeopardy answer. You'll have 30 seconds in which to write down the question. Be sure it is in the form of a question. Here we go. The category is the calendar. The final Jeopardy answer is the calendar date with which the 20th century began. Good luck. Time's up. Let's find out who today's winner is going to be. Paul Schaefer, you were in third place with $1,100. The answer was the date with which the 20th century began. And you said the final Jeopardy question was, what was January 1, 1900? That is incorrect, I'm sorry to say. Let's see how much money you risked on that. All $1,100. And that means you wind up with zero. Next, we had Lynn Crawford with 5000 Your answer was... Or your question was, what is January 1st, 1900? How much did you risk on that incorrect question? All of us. We wind up with nothing. Our champion, I have a feeling I know how our champion played this. He started off with 9,500. Let's find out, first of all, what he thought the correct Final Jeopardy question was. What is January 1, 1900? <laughs> we know now that is wrong, but how much did he risk? Did he go for the whole bundle? Oh. Yay! Oh boy, what? I'm at a loss for words in a situation like this. Hey, folks. Easy come, easy go. Because all of our contestants wound up with nothing. We have consolation prizes for each of them. Tomorrow, our Jeopardy will be bringing back, we'll be bringing in three new players to play the game. But our champion, remember, Greg is not leaving us empty-handed. He won $8,400 in cash on our last program. So until next time on Jeopardy, what is the answer? The answer? You mean, what is the question? The question is January 1, 1901. 1901. Until next time, folks. So long. See you next time on Jeopardy. Promotional consideration provided by...